Hey guys, Jman37x here, bringing you the beginning of The End is Nigh. This is a um, platformer made by, as you saw there, Edmund and Tyler. Edmund, of course, needs no introduction. He's made Isaac, Super Meat Boy, you know, a lot of very big stuff. I've, they've been around, he's been around on my channel for quite some time. And then Tyler has been working, has worked with Edmund a lot in the past with, um, <clears throat> like, the Basement Collection, I think Aether, one of their, one of Edmund's older games. And, um... He also made Closure, which is another pretty fun little game. But, um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it here. I did a bit of playing just to get a feel for the controls, how the game works. I completed the first area and a little bit of the next one, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to load up one of my favorite games here. Uh, here we have... Uh, the End is Nigh. It's a classic old-school platforming game, and, uh, you know, it's one of my favorites. One of my favorite games. You got your classic controls, you got your jumping, you got your going left and right, and, like always in these games, avoid the spikes. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh, no. No! No, 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 no! No! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, God, no, this can't be broke. Here, let me get the cartridge out. Oh, no! It's still not working! Oh, fuck! Fuck! What am I gonna do? Fuck! Dear anybody reading this, I'm probably dead. That wouldn't be surprising. Everybody else is. There was some kind of apocalypse, and then all that was left was me. Well, most of me. All in all, you know, hasn't been so bad. Until yesterday. My favorite game cartridge finally broke. But I think I'm gonna go out and make a friend! I'll have to go out there. Outside. It's a dangerous, twisted place with death and decay and... Well, death, mostly. But you know what? Imagine all the fun we'll have, me and my friend, you know? Collecting tumors, spinning teeth for distance. Hey, you know, if I do it right, repopulate the world. It won't be easy, but I have nothing left to lose, except my other eye. Oh well, fuck it! That very well might be one of the uh, saddest background stories I've ever seen. <laughs> Poor guy lost his game. If you go here, there's... Apparently there's a bunch of cards you can get in this game. Um, something interesting going on. I, I'm not really sure. I haven't found anything related to this quite yet, but, um, yeah, it's some sort of apocalypse. This thing is all that's left, and, um, that's pretty much it on. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't know you could do that, actually. Okay. So, um, find the pieces. I, there's a lot of things going on. There's a bunch of reference to some of Edmund's other games back there, as I'm sure you saw. Some interesting stuff going on up there, but we can't jump that high. This is just, uh, similar to Super Meat Boy, but you notice right away you can't wall jump. Which is one of the um, one of the biggest biggest differences, I'd say. Uh, base controls: jump, jump, or hold, jump to jump higher. Uh, the skeletons you can interact with. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And two more wiggled out. Uh, uh whoops, uh, a little late for that, huh, buddy? Uh, used to hang on corners and stuff. I don't get it. Sorry. Um. Yeah, that's the main uh, gimmick in this game, though, is that you can grab onto the sides of ledges and, like, little uh, grabbable stuff. <clears throat> and you can also do longer jumps, as you can see, if you hold in the opposite direction. They're going to explain that in a couple screens, I think. But um, Also, every single screen in the entire game, they're all they're basically like levels. Uh, you'll see in the lower right it says what level you're currently on. And um, every single one has, has a tumor on it somewhere. It's just a matter of finding. There's also a lot of secrets in this game. I found a few of them in this first area. Um, I have not found all of them yet, though. And, yeah, here's where it shows you that you can, um... Well, that was a stupid place to have the first death. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go and talk to this guy. Hang off walls. And, then, yeah, that's what you can... You can do really long jumps. <clears throat> Mostly just go up higher. <laughs> Pull-out method. <laughs> oh, jeez, in my life, I guess, wasn't enough, you... 
Selfish skeletons. Yeah, that's how you get over here, and then you can, uh, help up and get this tumor. And, uh, that's pretty much... Okay, here, also, here's the first secret that I found. I don't think it's the first one in the game. I think there's actually one before this. It's really nice music. I like this a lot. Um, and there's a bunch of these breakable blocks. And, uh, a lot of them hide spikes, as you saw over there, over in the left. But, um... All of these little secret areas have uh, a mega tumor, which is worth five, right there. They all, every single secret, if you find a secret that has, that's like, off the beaten path, it has a question marks in the lower right corner, and it has different music, that's, that means there's a mega tumor hidden in there somewhere. Uh, go ahead and get this guy. So as I said, I have played this entire world, I don't know where all of the secrets are, but I do know where, um, a good deal of them are, and I have gotten, I think, every single tumor in this first world, except for one I'll have to keep an eye out for, because... Apparently, I missed it the first time through. But, um... Yeah, just talk about the game itself. It's very nice. Visually, it's, you know, very simplistic. Only a few different colors going on here. Also, this jump is always giving me trouble. I'm not sure why. Uh, very minimalistic. The rain in the background, it's, it's just... This first area just has a really nice atmosphere to it. The music is incredible in this game from what I've heard so far. It's absolutely amazing. Also, you saw that stuff back there. You can uh, do that to go between screens like, like that. Uh, not something that's used very... Oh, okay. Not something that's used very often from what I've seen so far, but, um... What's nice is that when you... It, the game basically keeps progress whenever... Or, like, saves progress whenever you go through a, um... A door. Or a screen transition, I mean. So, um... As you saw, I went over here, and then if you die, it puts you right back where you were, like, when you first entered this screen. So, you'll be, we'll be seeing a bit more of that in this area as well. Up here, we have our next secret. At least that I found again. I don't know where they all are yet, but... Uh, if everything goes according to plan, I hope to have this series show off everything in the game. Not necessarily in order. Because, um... There are probably some secrets, some stuff I'll have to look up. But I want to find every single thing that I possibly can find on my own. Before I start looking stuff up. If I can help it. So, um... Uh, this one, the tomb is over there. Once again, we can't get it from this side. But if we go over here, you'll see there's this little, um, little space down here we can walk through. Whoops. Okay, and here, if I go fast enough, I can do this in kind of a cool looking fashion. There we go. Not too shabby. Okay, this one was one I was stuck on for a while, because you start going across here, and then you see the tumor fall behind you. But this is one of the ones where I said it, um, the screen transition thing is very important, because if you go back here, and then come back, it falls again. And then you can pick it up, go over here so that it saves your progress and resets the blocks. And then you have that tumor saved, and you can get back across. Very clever. Took me a little while to figure that out, because I was trying to, like, um, go back to that third platform. Go to the third platform, go back, and then go all the way back again, but it's just not possible to do it that way, as far as I can tell, at least. Be very impressive if you, um, if you could do that. Yeah a little too long on this uh, this guy here. Really, I need to stop doing those like corner jumps because it's a lot easier to just um when you're on a ledge just jump straight up. But um okay, here we have another. Ooh. Okay, I think I can still get to it. Uh, this might take a bit of an angling. Hmm. There we go. Yep, another secret up here. Uh, this one's just a bit of a bit of a climb to get up to. Um. Have to do regular jump. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of different, um, a lot of different jumps you can do in this game. Cause like, if I just tap jump, or like, this is the, the smallest jump you can do right here. You don't even jump up a full tile. And there's, you know, every single distance in between you can do. And then you have the, whoops, you have the different jumps off of the, um, when you're clinging onto ledges. And there's, uh, whoops. <laughs> this is, uh, this one I was stuck on here for a little while. Not at this part. Uh. Uh, this is not the jump that I was stuck on before, but, uh... Hmm. It's a little bit strange. Let me see. There we go. This wasn't timing it right. You have to do the smallest possible jump here to get across there. Uh, watch out for these little spikes also. They are still spikes. They will kill you. <laughs> They're very small and kind of hard to see. Uh, this room is a bit of a tricky one. Okay. Uh, it can be, at least. I actually did this my first time through. And then I was just messing around trying to get back to the little spikes to see if they actually were spikes. And then I died and it took me like five minutes to do that one again. 
But, uh... Alright, also, just so you know, there's, uh... 12 levels in every world. I don't know how many worlds there are. I don't know how long this game is. Uh, another secret up here also. Uh, this one has a little a little friend here, though. The Ascension. So he's talking about some some lore stuff here, I think. I don't really I don't really understand it yet, but uh, he's been forgiven. You can see his future. A white light. A foot. Something about a finger. Now, I don't know if this is a reference or if it's a hint for something. I'm feeling feelings again. Goodbye, crew world, and then even though he says that he's just, he just kind of stays here. Uh, not sure the significance of that yet, but, um, I'm sure it'll, well, actually, I was gonna say I'm sure it'll make more sense later, but knowing how Edmund does these things, I actually kind of doubt that's true. Uh, yeah, for that one, you just kind of have to be quick. You have to get over there, jump off that, uh, that ledge there with the spikes on it, jump up, and then run across before that ceiling falls, and then once again, we want to do something here. Because we can, uh, uh, not quite what I had in mind. I want to make, uh, there we go. I want to make this one fall. And then if you're quick, you can get up here. And we saw this one before. This is probably the easiest Mega Tumor in the game, if I had to guess. But definitely the easiest one we found so far. And then we can just, uh, go back down here. I don't know of anything being up there. Uh, whoops. Let me see. It doesn't really look possible to get up there, so... This, this bugged me for the longest time. So basically, I tried to get to that grabbable ledge over there. It took me a long time to be able to figure out how to do it, but I got up there, and there's just, there's nothing. It's it's really odd. I feel like there has to be something around there, or maybe it's just a red herring. Who knows? But uh, tumor in this one is sitting right here. Uh, this jump, if you don't, if you wait for that block to fall all the way down here, which you have to to get that tumor. This one's a little tricky. You have to do once again the smallest possible jump. Anything else won't cut it. And this is the locked gate. This is one thing that I looked up because I wanted to see if I missed a key somewhere, but you actually can't get it in this area. It's in, like, much later in the game, apparently. And this is the screen... Oh, that's why. Okay. This is the screen where I missed the tumor, but it's... I realize now why I did... why that happened. Um... I want to see... This is one where I kind of... I kind of goofed it up. I want to see what's up to the upper right, but I also want to get the tumor. Uh, I'm not sure I can do both. Is the problem. So, I'm gonna get the tumor, and I'm gonna assume there's probably a secret to the upper right there. But, um... So, if you go over here, there's nothing. But it's zoomed in a lot more, so it definitely seems like there's something up there. But I don't think it's possible to get to there from this side. Let me give it a try here. Because some of the jumps you can't make until it's falling at a certain speed. And I just don't... It doesn't seem like there's enough time to get up there. So, this might have to be something I get in a, uh, a revisit later on. This one, this room's pretty straightforward, as far as I could tell. Probably a secret in here, who knows. There's secrets everywhere in this game. But, um... This one, this room's, you know, very straightforward. Really cool. I, I do like the uh, the building crumbling mechanic. It's really cool. It just adds to the uh, the atmosphere in this place. And this tumor is a little bit tricky to get. I think if you run and... Yeah, you have to jump into, like, the last possible second on that, that platform there. And I don't see where a secret could be in that room. Uh, this one I was, was stuck on for a little while. Wait for that to fly over to me. Because you have to get this platform falling. Oh, okay. There we go. <clears throat> as I, I, since I have, I have played a lot of this before, so I'm not struggling as much here as I would have otherwise. Whoops. But, um, trust me, the later, the later areas are not going to be, that, that's not going to be the case at all. But, uh, here it's, I've done all of this before, so I have, I was a little bit too slow to get that, I guess. Uh, I've done it all before, so I'm, I'm pretty well... Ha I have it very recently. I did it too, like, just like a couple minutes before I recorded. So I have a lot of this still in my muscle memory. <clears throat> so this one, there's the spike platforming section. Or you can just uh, bait out some of these falling platforms. Uh, there's one more here. And you see that tumor up there. And you just go over the whole thing and you just don't even bother. <laughs> Much easier. Uh, probably a secret back there, if I had to guess, but, um, that's the last screen, and that's actually the end of the first area, crazy as that is, but we got a little bit more here we'll do, uh, remains of our ancestors, I'm not sure who are, I guess, are we all of the same species, or, I'm not really sure what the, what the biology going on here is, their guts are all connected underground, that's nice, 
And then I can hear them whispering. This game's really loud noise. Help us, we are burning in hell. <laughs> or something. Yeah, hard to hear over your own screams. Yeah, it's fair. What kind of tunnel system? When you find a new one, just remove the scab, hop in, and boom, you're home. So as he's saying here, you can use this. Also, now we have our map. And you can use this as a, um, a fast travel system, basically. And you see here, we got the dark dots are the, the levels that we got the tumors in. We didn't get one in the very first one. That's because it's up here. So that's how you get the stuff that was um, up at the top here. Ooh. And then there's this guy. It reminds me a lot of a uh, mixture of between like Chad and Steven from some of Edmund's other games. 300. I'm assuming he means 300 uh, tumors. Must be fresh. I don't think there's anything else on this screen. Um, as far as I can tell. So, um... Yeah, as you, I can also go... I can go back here, but also you... Uh, wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I thought it was... I thought the arrow was the thing, but it's actually this little guy. Right, I forgot about that. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, you can also actually go to the map and fast travel between any areas anytime you want, but again, you can only travel to these points, so, like... If you want to find anything in this area, you have to start from the beginning and go from go from there. Um, and also on the map, it shows the the X's are the secrets in the area. I'm pretty sure. So I found four, but there's still three other ones. And then there's a question mark, which I'm not sure at all what that is. That's probably going to be the thing behind the locked gate, if I had to guess, in the first area. But I don't know what it's going to be for the other ones. But um, a bit short. But I don't want to do more than an entire world in the first episode. And I'm sure the later episodes, it's going to be multiple episodes for a world as it starts, as the difficulty starts to increase. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. Also, everything here kills you, if you were wondering. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check the description for a link to my Twitch.tv channel. And, um, yeah, stick around for the, the arid something, arid flats. Uh, also another cool effect going on here. I just only just noticed it, like, the, uh, the heat the heat wave effect in the background. Very nice. Music here is good. I, this is as far as I got. I got a couple screens into this place, but um, yeah, I hope you guys will join me, join me next time for uh, finding stuff in the aired flats. This game's a lot of fun so far, and uh, I'm very happy that I picked it up. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.